What's good everybody? So this is actually like a really unexpected um, collab, so to speak. Um, you know, Fortnite obviously has everybody or has had everybody in a chokehold at cer some certain point in their life. You know, I went crazy on Fortnite for a little bit. Um, and Fortnite is definitely known for having their collabs. You know, we got Dragon Ball Z, you got Travis Scott, uh, LeBron. Literally anybody you think of has probably been in Fortnite um, that is like famous or you know what I mean? But this is the first time that like just an actual brand itself um, decided to collab with Nike. And my initial thoughts on it is just, um, I feel like they're kind of desperate at this point. Um, I really do think Nike's, this is, I feel like this is kind of a desperate move um, because they're trying to promote their new um, their new model, the new Air Max, and I, and just by the way that I've seen some of like the promo posts and things of that nature, I feel like they're really big on trying to, uh, on trying to promote this new model, which I don't blame them, but I feel like they went about it the wrong way. I feel like they kind of like rushed the promotion, like on it. I feel like the promotion wasn't even like known until maybe like a, a week before Air Max Day which was going to be its debut day. And then even the uh, the special event that they had at Politics, I feel like it wasn't hyped up enough. Like when I came there, I was the first person in line and I went to go have breakfast um, downtown and I came back and there was only probably like three to four people. You know what I mean? And But the whole thing about Nike is that they oversaturated the, the shoe when it, before it even came out. Um, they decided to... They had the limited, so-called limited release. It was only supposed to be at Politics. Then they shock drop it on sneakers. And nobody was really kind of like interested. And so the the little, you know what I'm saying, hype that it had because of it being limited, um, it got drove away because basically the people who wanted it kind of got it on sneakers. You know what I mean? Because no, it didn't really have that hype. So the people who did want it and weren't able to go to Politics, it was a lot of people in my comment section saying that they hit. So... Um, and then they released like five colorways. It was, I know for a fact it was like a all white, a all black, a silver, and then like a, a neon all on the same release day. So like, you know what I'm saying? Four to five colors all on one day is just overkill, especially for something that no one was really going out their way to get for. So I think they're really desperate and them being with... Uh, Fortnite is kind of like, you know, Fortnite is going to get everybody's attention. And especially the kids, which I've mentioned in some of my other videos right now, the main consumer is is really a kid, like anybody 18 and below. And those are the main people playing Fortnite right now. So let's get into the article. So uh, Nike has, be, has again pushed the envelope by diving deep into the digital frontier. It's ventures into NFTs and the metaverse, mainly through initiatives like RTF, KT, and Dotsush. Look, this is this is, doesn't pertain to this video, but they they fumbled the bag on this. Um, but I'm I don't know if I'm gonna make it into a separate video, so I'm gonna just do a small rant right here. Um, they the whole process is just so so complicated. I had ordered them, um, and then it takes a year to even get here. So I I pre-ordered it for July. Um, but the whole process of just get, like getting the, I don't even know how to explain it for it. It's literally complicated. Even if you go to their website, read the instructions, it's really complicated to even get into. And I feel like that drives a lot of people away. Um, and so, yeah, no, I feel like nobody is interested. And I feel like, um, uh, I feel like by the time everybody gets their pairs, like, like it's already ran its course, I feel like, because it had like a small, like a small window for that, uh, for its drop, I felt like people were excited and then it got complicated or like people wanted to like learn about it and it was complicated and people were just like, uh, whatever. And then obviously NFTs and stuff that that's not even a thing anymore. So they kind of just fumbled the whole thing. But anyways, 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 but I still ordered the shoes. So I'll have an unboxing for y'all whenever they come in. Um, this marriage of the, this, yeah, of the physical and digital worlds have been further cemented through its collaborations with Fortnite the massively popular online game known for its vibrant, ever-evolving universe. Last year, this partnership gave birth to Aerophoria, a virtual experience within Fortnite that brought together gaming, fashion, and te technology. 
I'm so behind on, on Fortnite. The last time I played it was when they brought back the OG season. And then once they once they kicked that out, I deleted it. Back to 2K. Fast forward to this year and the collaboration has leveled up with the launch of Airphoria 2.0, coinciding with the celebration of Air Max Day and the introduction of the Air Max DN. The original Airphoria was a landmark event in integrating Nike's iconic designs with Fortnite's digital ecosystem. It offered players a range of in-game skins, emotes, accessories, and a custom map to promote the Air Max 1, 86 Big Bubbles return. See the 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 issue with this is like because one I didn't even I didn't know about that they already had something in Fortnite but the thing with this is is that they're trying to promote OG models no like nobody under I feel like nobody under like twenty oh wait anybody anybody um. Yeah, anybody below like tw like 21 and below, I feel like, and you could really stretch that to like 25. Anybody like 25 and below, I feel like they don't really care about Air Maxes. But just pertaining to Fortnite, which is going to be 18 and below, 100% nobody's going to care about a, a, a OG Air Max. You know what I mean? Um, especially when it's like no collab, no hype behind it. it so that's just a dumb move, bro. Like. Before this Jordan brand, because you put some limited shoe on there, you put like some collab or just some real creative shoe on there, bro, you would, you would, you would hurt the Fortnite servers. But this, I didn't even know about this. Uh, this year's Air Max Day unveiled the Air Max DN, a sneaker that encapsulates Nike's relentless pursuit of innovation. Air Foria 2.0 has been introduced in Fortnite to celebrate this launch, enhancing the virtual experience with new elements reflecting the latest sneaker technology advancement. The event features new skins such as Eclipse and Air Forian, with the latter directly representing the Air Max DN. The skin showcases the sneaker's distinctive haptic secondary layer across the body, which players' avatars donning the Air Max DN on their feet. Variants include experiences by the Air Max Plus Drift and the Air Max 1, offering a range of styles for the players to choose from. Like, Air Max Pluses is literally like adult, like adult shoes. Like, I feel like only like AU coaches, dad wear these like and i and i was gonna say like gym guys but now that has shifted to new balances um i feel like when i go to the gym all i see is new balances from guys and girls um and the air max one again the air max one is like an og shoe like only only people who are are cultured in sneakers and people that are like old not old but adult and up really care about that in addition to like when was the last time you've seen a kid wear air maxes like let's let's be real it is they they into the dunks designer everything that that trends on tiktok uh yeezys all types but not no air maxes bro <laughs> In addition to the cosmetic upgrades, Air Foria 2.0 enriches the gameplay experience by tasking players with a unique challenge, bringing together four Air Max chambers to recreate the DN's innovative cushioning system. Players eager to dive in this blended world of cutting-edge fashion and digital adventure can access the Fortnite world of Air Foria 2.0 using the island code. Air Airport 2.0 will run from March 26, 2024 through April 2nd when the custom world will close. So, and then these are just... I guess just pictures of the Fortnite in-game stuff, but that looks just kiddish to me, and I really don't care. But like, you know what I mean? Like, this is all that that that's the main point that I'm making, y'all. Y'all have two different dynamics. Like, this is a kids' game, and it looks super kiddish, but you're trying to advertise something for the adults. Like, like your main. Your main target audience that's gonna buy the Air Max is not on Fortnite. So I uh, I don't know. I think they're just desperate right now. So <laughs> let me know what you think about this move. Do you think uh they're desperate? Like is this even like worth it? Like what do you think they that they're here to gain for? So um <laughs> or let me know if you're playing Fortnite <laughs> and if you even looked at this. So 
Uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.